बिल्ड मोर मसल विदाउट स्टेरॉइड आज के वीडियो में मैं आपको बताऊंगा फाइव मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट फॉर बेटर मसल प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस मसल प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस और एम पी एस एम पी एस इज वेन यू यूज अमीनो एसिड फ्रॉम द प्रोटीन यू ईट टू क्रिएट न्यू प्रोटीन फॉर ग्रोथ एंड रिपेयर ऑफ योर मसल एंड टिश्यू ऑफ द बॉडी फाइव वे टू बिल्ड मसल मोर नेचुरली Yes guys, bina kisi steroids, SARM, unnecessary supplements such as Turkstrom. You can gain your body naturally without all this and can increase your muscle protein synthesis naturally. This video is brought to you by Hugo Life, India's 100% authentic protein and supplement store. So guys, let's talk about this five methods to build muscles more naturally. One, protein distribution. According to the Journal of Nutrition, you have to divide the daily protein intake into different meals so that you can optimize the process of muscle protein synthesis. For example, if you eat 20 grams of protein every 3 hours, mein hai, you will get the maximum amount of protein muscle synthesis. However, if you eat 40 grams of protein every 6 hours, or 10 grams of protein every 1.5 hours, it will not make a difference. Let me explain to you in detail. For example, if your protein requirement per day is around 120 grams of protein, then you will get the maximum amount of protein muscle synthesis. For example, if your protein requirement per day is around 120 grams if you divide this 120 gram of protein into 6 meals of 20 20 grams after every 3 hours then you will get the best muscle protein synthesis of the body but as compared if you consume 120 grams of protein divided into 3 meals which is 40 grams of protein per meal for 6 hours or by consuming 120 grams of protein in one meal and consuming a very small quantity of protein of 10 grams after every 1.5 hours so guys the protein distribution is reasonable to optimize the process of muscle protein synthesis so guys let's talk about second method have protein before sleep to improve the protein muscle synthesis just as i have told you in the first point where protein must be reasonable to optimize maximum muscle protein synthesis and here it makes sense to consume protein before sleeping because ye samay jab bhi aap sote hain maximum time aap kuch consume nahi karte guys according to research of medicine and science and sports and exercise some resistance training participants were divided into two groups group 1 was given casein protein to consume before sleep and group 2 was on the placebo they were not given any casein protein it was found that the group which was given casein protein to consume before sleep they had consumed the protein and had digested effectively and absorbed effectively in the body with the help of this the concentration of the amino acids in the blood is maintained which also increase the level of muscle protein synthesis apart from this according to one more study of the journal of nutrition was conducted in which the dexa method was used for measuring the body fat percentage and lean body mass dexa method is a dual energy x ray method is a gold standard method to measure the lean body and fat mass ratio so guys in the clinical trial of the journal of nutrition dexa method was used the resistance training participants were divided into two groups group a where the people were given protein before sleeping and the group b was not given protein before sleeping at the end of the study it was found by dexa method that the participants who consumed protein before sleeping had a better muscle improvement or growth whereas to the people or participant those who didn't consume protein before sleeping apart from the group which had consumed protein before sleeping their strength have also improved now let's talk about the third most important process to increase the muscle protein synthesis which is leucine according to the american journal of clinical nutrition and dr lehman who is a protein researcher at university of Illinois according to him we need 2.5 grams of leucine to turn on the switch of MTOR so that the process of muscle protein synthesis can be stimulated so guys make sure that when you distribute your protein requirement for per day you should consume 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal throughout the day when you consume 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal it is very easy to include leucine of 2.5 grams per meal and guys consuming 20 to 30 grams of protein every meal i don't think it's difficult now guys let's talk about the fourth method which is sleep guys it is found in research that when we sleep our body releases hormone those hormones are crucial to provide the muscle protein synthesis and to reduce 
breakdown of muscle. If you are taking inadequate sleep, then there will be a problem in your muscle recovery process. And guys, apart from the problem that occurs in muscle recovery process, it is also observed through research that lack of sleep will lead to less of recovery and also reduce the muscle mass. According to the study of 2011, in which a few participants which were following a diet of same calories were divided into two groups. The first group was asked to sleep for 5.5 hours and the second group were asked to sleep for 8.5 hours. At the end of the study, it was observed that the group who slept for 5.5 hours had a 60% of reduction in their muscle mass, whereas the group which slept for 8.5 hours had a 40% increase in the muscle mass. So guys, shrinkage in sleep is equal to shrinkage in muscles. Make sure that you are taking at least 7 hours of sleep, but if you are ensuring your sleep for 7 to 9 hours, then keep your phones aside and concentrate on your sleep. Now let's talk about the fifth and most important method, which is weightlifting. Guys, whenever you lift heavy weights, your muscle mass increases because when you lift weights, you damage the muscle fibers, which forces your body to increase the level of muscle protein synthesis to recover the damaged muscle fiber. And guys, as the time passes, your body gets used to it and it is easy for body to recover and repair the muscle fiber faster. That is why guys, with the passing time, you need to increase the weight to increase the muscle tension so that the level of your muscle protein synthesis always be at the optimum. And guys, one thing to keep in mind, the more intense workout you do, the better muscle protein synthesis is carried in your body. For example, according to the study of the University of Nottingham, it was found that the participant who are working out at the intensity of 40% of one rep max, there is no changes in the muscle protein synthesis with no effects. But the participants who are working out at intensity of more than 60% of one rep max, their muscle protein synthesis occurred double to triple. So guys, if you are not doing weightlifting and focusing only on the cardio activities, then pay attention to the weightlifting and also try to increase the weight gradually. Hope you follow these methods to grow your muscles naturally. If you found this video helpful, like and comment karke mujhe zarur bataiye. Apne dosto ke saath share karna mat bhulna. Please subscribe to Yuga Life channel. Download the Yuga Life app now.